Hi Stampers! Jackie Ballhuis from Clump and Stampers. Stamping with you today from Zealand, Michigan. I am so excited to show you the fun technique I have for you today. Now you know me, I am the simple stamper. Everything we do is simple, it's quick and easy, and sometimes the word techniques tends to scare us because we think hard, messy, lots of stuff, but that's not the case. This is a simple technique that you can do that has some dramatic effects that I think you're really gonna have fun playing around with. So before I turn the camera down, just a quick reminder, make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. I try to come to you three times a week with quick and easy stamping videos and also share my videos with your crafty friends. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in a comment what you think. That's how I'm able to keep bringing these videos to you three times a week. I really appreciate all of your feedback. So, and one more thing, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Just hop on over to my website, and if you need a catalog, up at the top there's a button you can click on to request a free catalog. If you have any questions, let me know. And most importantly, if you need to order Stampin' Up! products, I really appreciate it when you pick me to order from. Once again, that's what helps me be able to keep bringing all of these ideas to you week after week after week. Plus, I love doing it. So with no further ado, let's flip the camera down and let's get stamping. Now I know you always like to see the cards before we begin, so let's talk about them. Here they are. Aren't they gorgeous? The only stamping I did on these is the greeting, but the main focal point is an embossing folder and we use some ink in our embossing folder to really get that embossed image to pop. Now let's set those aside. We'll come back and show you the finished cards in a little bit. But the folder I'm using this time is called the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. It's a mouthful. Um, this is a brand new folder. It just came out February 15th and it is only available as a free item through March 31st during Stampin' Up! celebration. So when you place a $50 order, this is one of the items you can select as your freebie. And oh boy, you want this one. It is awesome. Um, so like I said, it's right here in the brand new celebration brochure. Now, the greetings we're using, as long as I'm showing you stuff that we don't have to come back to all of this. Um, Strong and Beautiful, this is a greeting set that is in the occasions catalog. Oops, she was gonna show you the cover. Looks like so. Um, just a super great greeting set. Now it does have a stamp geared towards mothers, but I know some of you don't necessarily make Mother's Day cards or have mothers to make them for, um, but if you look at everything else in the set, it, it's just awesome uplifting, encouraging words to send to the women in your life. So I have been using it a lot. Okay, let's get that away. Let's get to the fun stuff. So once again, here's the folder. This, like I said, is a dynamic one, and that simply means it's super thick. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's way thicker than our normal embossing folders. So to ink this up, what we're gonna do, we'll get our scrap paper here. I am using Petal Pink ink, and you really can get two different looks. When you rub your hand along here, this side is flat. So all of these images, the floral images and leaves and whatnot, are pressed down inside of it so you have a flat surface. Over here, everything's raised up, so everything's bumpy. Now you can ink one or the other side and get a completely different look, and I'll show you the different looks. I think probably the best look and the best impression you're gonna get is when you ink this flat side. So that's what we're gonna do. Like I said, we have our ink pad, and we're gonna do what's called tone on tone. So I have petal pink cardstock. Same color ink as cardstock that we're using. Now you can use you know, different inks, you can use white, you can use whatever you want, but I just really like the look of this. And this piece is a quarter sheet. So this piece is five and a half by four and a quarter. Now, if you notice on my cards, my pieces are considerably smaller. I cut them down actually to five and three and three quarters and then layered them to make my card. But I like to start with a bigger piece and then trim it. That way, when you lay this down, because you have to be so careful, you don't have to worry about placing it absolutely perfect because you're gonna trim those edges off. Okay, let's go to inking it. 
take your ink pad and you can pat it on here. Um, just make sure you're kind of rubbing it all over. You can even rub it a little bit if you want. I kind of felt I got the best results by rubbing it first, got everything, but then I came back and patted it. Seemed to give the, the best coverage on there. So it's just one of those things you gotta play around with. Get it good and inked. You can see the ink on there. Now when you put your piece of cardstock in here, you have to be careful because you can't slide it around. You're gonna mess up that image that you're gonna get. So I'm very careful to just set it down, hold it, drop it down, make sure, see how I'm using my hands just to make sure nothing moves. And then pinch this really tight to get it over to your big shot. So we're using the regular Big Shot platform. You do not use the thin die adapter, okay? Just the Big Shot platform. Don't use the magnetic one either. That one's too thick. So the regular Big Shot platform, you're gonna lay this right on the platform and then one clear plastic plate on top. Because of it being the dynamic, we don't put two of these plastic plates like we do with the regular size embossing folders. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna grab the Big Shot. Now I normally don't show the Big Shot in my videos because it's so big and clunky and takes up all my space here. Um, but I thought since this is really just all about the Big Shot, we would. So I'm gonna just set it there. Remember, I was just very careful about not moving anything. And then these do turn a little bit harder, especially to get them started because they're so thick. And you'll hear it. Oh, did you hear that? It kind of popped out at the end there. So then we can take that, get rid of the Big Shot. And when we open this up, and gently get that out so we don't get the ink. Whoops, and fly it all around. Look at that, look at how pretty that is. Petal pink ink on petal pink cardstock. So it just darkened the cardstock. But this is what I was talking about. See kind of the funny edges and whatnot that you get. Well, it's super easy now to go to your cutter and trim them all off. So let's look at our cards here. Now, like I said, I cut it down to uh, what do we got? Five and three and three quarters. Went just a little, an eighth bigger on the Whisper White to layer with. How many times do you layer with Whisper White? That seems kind of weird, but it works awesome with colored cardstock. Now don't worry about those measurements. I'll have them in the blog post for you. A list of all the supplies I use along with all the measurements. And then we put it just onto a piece of petal pink cardstock. Super simple. There is our greeting. We used a punch. Um, I stamped it and punched it. And I put little two little circles in there and I was able to then just feed my baker's twine around, tie a bow, and then adhere it to a card front. And I was bad. I know I always tell you guys, don't forget the inside. Uh, I didn't do anything on the inside. This will be a great one just to write a little note of encouragement to a girlfriend. Now, look at the difference. Put them side by side. This one here, I inked the other side of the embossing folder. So you can see the ink is down there on the impressed part of it. So it's almost like this is upside down. Um, you can see here, this is what this side looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Everything's pressed down in it, but because that's the side I inked, that ink is pressed down inside of it. So two totally different looks, same embossing folder, same cardstock, same ink. Added another greeting there. Now, as long as I was playing, I did one on white as well. So here's your white embossing folder with the petal pink ink on it, on the flat side. So we got that. And then, just for kicks, I did do one where I didn't use any ink at all. And I don't know if you can see the texture on there. So it's just white. And this one I did a little different. I, in, I first punched out a circle, or not the circle, but that punch. You can see how it's missing from that emboss layer. I punched it out, then I embossed this piece, stamped on here, and raised that up with dimensionals. So again, super simple card. Now, I know I always say do the insides and do the envelopes, no naked envelopes. I did do my envelope on this one. Let me show you what I did. I actually embossed my envelope. So can you see the flap on there? So I just took my, and, and I think I did this the wrong way. I, if I was, not if, but when I do it again, I'm gonna put it so the raised goes on the outside of the envelope. Here I have the raised on the inside that you won't see. But all I did was I took my envelope and I don't wanna stick it in here because there's still ink on here, but I stuck it in with just the flap in there, ran it through the big shot and little pretty. So add some texture to your envelopes. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you like this simple idea that's actually a technique. 
because I don't do a lot of things that are techniques because it usually requires a lot of stuff and a lot of mess. So, um, hope you like these projects and like I said, hop on over to the blog. You'll have all the list of supplies and absolutely everything you need to make these. And then if you need to place a Stampin' Up! order, make sure you pick me for your demonstrator. And remember, this embossing folder, you want this one. And it is only available until the end of March as a freebie. We all love freebies. So, let me know if I can help you in any way or answer any questions. I'm here to be your Stampin' Up! person to help you in any way that I can. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.